What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host of SharePoint in 60 Seconds. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers uh, before the end of the year, so I think we can do it. So um, you might have known or might have heard from some of my previous live streams that I have been super jazzed up about conditional formatting in SharePoint Online document libraries and lists. And I just want you to know that I'm still jazzed about it, just in case you were wondering. So whoever like invented it over at Microsoft, whoever, whoever it was, um, thank you very much. You've made my life uh, super easy. It's not necessarily that we're going to get lots of requests for this. Um, I don't think a lot of people know about it yet. But once people start to learn and know and understand how simple and easy it is, I feel like it's going to be a thing. What I want to show you today is how you can make bold or create bold text in a SharePoint document library or SharePoint list with the metadata. So... Sorry for uh, checking the other computer here. I just want to make sure that we're live. And again, I'm just going to trust the system. So there we go. Uh, so what we got to do is we have to access the view drop down here in the command bar. So we've got our view selector. And right now we're on all items. Um, what we're going to do before we get in there, we're going to decide what we want to make bold. Do we want to make this uh, title column or this, uh, yeah, the title column here, or do we want to make just the model or do we want everything? Now, from what I have seen in the past, if we want to do everything, we're going to have to do a separate one for the title. At least in a document library, we had to do a separate one for the title because when I requested to make the entire row, uh, bold or you know formatted affected in some way it only seemed to apply for everything but like the main key field and in your document library that main field is going to be that main reference field is typically your name column the name of the file and for document or and for lists it is title uh, I do feel like I renamed this from title and you know I'm, I'm going off script a little bit but you know what I'm going to do it. I'm going to go off script, so I'm going to be all over the place today, but stay tuned. It's going to be fun no matter what. Uh, before I show you how to do bold, I'm going to show you how to find out what the original name of these fields are. Did you know? Did you know that after you create this field name, after you create it, um... You cannot change it. Well, you can change the name of it, like the display name, but the actual, the actual hard coded, um, like in the guts of SharePoint, that doesn't change unless you delete the column altogether. If you don't believe me, um, just watch. So we don't see a title column here at all. Now, I'm pretty sure I remember um, going in here and making an update to the title field and renaming it company or manufacturer. Um, the way I know that is because my naming convention for any brand new uh, column name is going to be camel case and not separated. So let's just see if I'm, if I'm correct. So we're going to go to list settings. If you're using classic, all you got to do is uh, go, use return to classic. Yep, I'm going to show you because we might have some classic users out there. Oh, we're in a we're in a communication site, so you'll have to wait till I'm in a team site. Sorry. All right, we're going to go in and we're going to look and see what the original name. See, there's no title. Why is there no title? Because I changed. Oh no. Oh, it was the model that I did that. Whew. Either way. I made a change, but I'm going to hover over here. So I want you to focus your attention at the bottom of the screen. Okay. 
notice uh, if I had two mice I guess I'd be able to do it but if I'm, I'm gonna hover over model again and you can see at the very very end it says field equal title that's why when you do things like um, with InfoPath and with Power Apps, things that uh, look back to a SharePoint list or document library, um, if you can get by without changing the name of title, well, we're, we're just talking about list. Um, uh, if you can get by without uh, changing the name of that title column, just leave it that way. Otherwise, if you forget, remember, every single list, every list, Oh, I have a list that doesn't have, no, you don't have a list that doesn't have a title column. Every list has a title column. And you'll find out the original name of any column if you hover over it and look at the uh, field equals at the very end. So keep that in mind, especially for Power Apps. All right. I digress. So we're going to go back, and I think we were talking about how to make text bold. And we're going to go to the... Uh, format current seriously we're gonna go to format current view and I don't believe I have messed with this one at all so this should be the first time in this particular list that I've used the formatting uh, but look it asks you which you know how do you want to apply this do you want to apply it to the entire row now I swear to you in document library just the other day I said entire row I went to conditional formatting and I made it like red. There's a video on it. You should probably go look at it. Um, there's a link to the other video. Um, and I said entire row, but it only made just this one column. Not It didn't affect the name column. So I don't know. Maybe document libraries work differently. We'll find out together. So conditional formatting. Now, oh, and I said entire row. Did I not? Let's double check. Entire row. Boom. So again, I feel like this, all of this, because this, this is a row, that shade, see that's a row. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, imagine that. Got to click in the thing. All right, so here we go. Uh, well, it does do the formatting here for the whole, I'm going to go back to a document library when we're done with this, I promise. Anyway. Uh, it's showing everything with the shaded background because that sample text has shaded background. But I don't want that. I just want all the text to be bold. So I'm going to edit the rule. Choose a column that I want to think about. Well, I, I want to bold Atari because Atari is the best. So we're going to say company or manufacturer equals Atari. I think that's going to be good. And now we're going to go in here and change how we want. Oh, look. See, it did it instantly. That's super awesome. All right. I want to be able to see. Let's see. i got to check to see if anybody's in making uh, comments. That's not the right screen. Yep. Don't see anybody, so alrighty. So here we go. Um, so we're gonna make this bold, but we don't want the shading. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna say no fill. Yeah, no fill. That worked. And we want to more styles. Go to more styles, and we'll just make it bold. Hey, it worked. Okay, I'm going to go back to document library and see if this behaves differently. Maybe there was a fix. Maybe there was a fix. All right. So does that make sense? Basically, it's like this. If you want to make something bold, all you got to do is go to your view. In this case, I'm going to undo it. So I'll show you how to undo it. Go to format view, conditional formatting, manage rules, and then you're going to, um, well, if you want to get rid of it all together, just hit your dot 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 delete rule. If you want to update it, just click on it and just make your updates. I mean, it's super simple. It's easy as pie. But I'm going to get rid of this and it should make it all cleared up. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go to a document library because seriously, um, I swear entire row did not do that. And um, so we're going to documents. 
By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe if you saw something. If you learned, here, here's the deal I'll make with you. If you actually come out of this having learned something that you didn't already know, please like and subscribe. All right. And if you don't learn something, still like and subscribe. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. So here's the document library, right? So we want to make sure that we bold all the Lovets. Or any any uh, file that is Lovett, we're going to bold the whole row. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so in the comments, like if there was somebody in the comments, I would quiz the, you know, I would quiz the audience and be like, so how would I go about making this happen? Just to make sure you're paying attention. But there's nobody in there, so I'll just show you again. So we go to Format, Current View, Entire Row, Manage Rules. Well, let's do it. Let's make sure. Okay, there we go. I just want to make sure I click the little checkbox so there's no excuse on what's going on here. Uh, and we're going to we're going to edit the rule, and we're going to say if uh, if the rating is equal to love it, then do the thing. And we're going to go, so it's doing that. I swear though when I went to change, oh, hold on. Oh, we can do the fill here too. Nice. Why not just go right to that screen right away? I don't know. Um, so we got rid of that. Now we're going to make it bold. Ha! Huh. Maybe I was doing something wrong. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to go back and watch the other videos because I feel like that was the case, but it is what it is, and now you've got all your levits in bold text. All right, I rambled on long enough. Uh, for the next live, I'd like to use one of your ideas and show something that you want to know about, whether it is, uh, here are your choices. Um, well, let's not make it too hard. <laughs> SharePoint Online, uh, Microsoft Teams, um, Power Automate. I will, I will even get into some simple Power Automate um, power apps, I'm still getting, you know, it's one of those things, takes me a little while. So in order to show you something, um, I can definitely show you something in, uh, Power Automate, Microsoft Teams, and SharePoint Online. So with that, this is Carolina Mike saying thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out in the SharePoint crew. Uh, Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, SharePoint rocks. And so do you. And you. And you. And you. You right there in the back. You too. Take it easy, y'all.